here we see in this stenocarpus, if we look up here at the trunk, we'll see a nice healthy main stem, a co-dominant lead with a, a pretty good structural crotch there to the tree's form, but we see a branch emerging out of the trunk that has died. And in fact, I can see the end of it there. It was actually saw cut at one time. Somebody sawed this branch off. It was probably too long for this site, too low, and so was cut off. The branch has died and has died all the way back to the trunk, to the main stem. And at the base of the branch, we see these funguses decaying the dead wood, recycling this material, helping the tree to shed this dead branch. This is the process of abscission where the tree sheds dead wood from its canopy. We remove from the tree what interferes with ideal health. That's a target cut. So in this case, this is a pretty clear target cut because we see this decayed wood. The sooner the tree is done with this, the better. Then when we make our excision here at the branch collar and treat that end grain wound, the tree will close that wound up and it will be history. It will not turn into a decay site, it will not turn into a rotting cavity, it will not threaten the structural armature of the tree's future strength. So this is a small cut for a tree, but this branch could be 3 inches, 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches, a foot in diameter. It could be a major primary lead in the tree and the principle would be the same. So what we want to do here is help the tree heal this wound. We're just going to accelerate the healing of the tree at this stem. So if we did nothing, the tree would prune this on its own. But in good arbicultural fashion, we're going to remove this. So there's no question that the tree is going to heal this site. This branch is actually keeping the wound open until it drops off. Once it has made the process of abscission, has fallen out of the tree, then the tree will be able to heal the wound. So we're just speeding up that process a little bit. By cutting this now, we cut it firm, sound wood, easiest for the tree to heal over. That's less than an inch in diameter. But for purposes of illustration, we find this kind of thing on trees all the time. From small wounds like this to large wounds. This is a wound that doesn't threaten the tree's life. But a large wound that is doing this could threaten the tree's life and stability and longevity. So that's why we always want to be on top of it, remove the defects as we find them, and there we go.